Hey you, vintage stereo. Yeah, what do you want? Are you lonely and unloved? Well, yeah, I mean, kind of. Nobody listens to me anymore, and I... You're jealous of all those new stereos? Ah, these young punks with their digital inputs and remote controls. Shh. Cheer up, vintage stereo. Why? I want to be friends. Oh. <laughs> Introducing HDAC, your vintage stereo's new best friend. With the HDAC, your stereo will have remote volume and mute control, coax, optical, and USB digital inputs, and four HDMI inputs with pass-through for video. There are many great places your vintage stereo and the HDAC can connect. One is the tape monitor jacks. There, your vintage stereo can reach out to the HDAC with an RCA to 3.5 millimeter stereo cable. If all goes well, and I don't see why it wouldn't, the HDAC will communicate back to your vintage stereo from its rear panel analog outputs. Now they're making beautiful music together. Just use your vintage stereo's volume control to set the maximum level you want, and use the HDAC's remote to decrease, increase, or mute the volume. More friends can join as well. Use the HDAC's remote to select digital inputs, and your vintage stereo to select analog inputs. No relationship is perfect, and this partnership does have one drawback. It's going to use up your tape monitor. Most people won't object, but if you're using a preamp and amp, there's another way. Instead of the tape monitor, use an RCA to 3.5 mm stereo cable between your preamp's output and the HDAC's analog input, and RCA cables between the HDAC's analog output and your amp's input. If your amp has XLR jacks, you can even use those. Looking for something more casual? Here's a fun option you might try. First, pair the HDAC's analog output to any old spare input your vintage stereo has laying around. You know, like auxiliary or CD. But whatever you do, don't use the phono input. The HDAC just doesn't want to go there. Next, get yourself a good quarter inch to 3.5 millimeter stereo cable. They're available in lots of fun colors and styles to match your vintage stereo's aesthetic. Now with this simple cable, you can quickly connect all of your vintage source components to the HDAC using their headphone jacks. Now, some of you old schoolers might scorn at a marriage between the HDAC's evil digital and your vintage stereo's genteel analog. But I say get over it, Grandpa. You and your vintage stereo will love all the convenient and great sounding digital content that's now available. It'll have you listening more and maybe even, dare I say it, jamming to some new music. I know, I know, just thinking about the HDAC converting your analog material to digital and back again to analog just for volume control seems a little crazy at first, but trust me, you'll learn to love it. I've got an HDAC in my vintage system and there's no going back. And just look at that beautiful sine wave and tell me you're not impressed. Molest your precious analog? I should think not. I certainly haven't heard anything scandalous. The HDAC does have one quirk though, but I mean, who doesn't, right? Unfortunately, the HDAC can be a little stingy sometimes. You see, if you input a one volt analog signal, the HDAC is only gonna give back about 880 millivolts. So when you flip the tape monitor switch to have the HDAC join your system, you're gonna notice a slight drop in volume. This happens even with the HDAC's volume set to maximum or output level locked. No big deal, just turn up the volume a bit to compensate. Trust me, the analog signal is still intact and the HDAC sounds great. Think HDAC might be your vintage stereo's new best friend, but worry your wallet's gonna hate it? Here's how the conversation went between HDAC and my wallet. Hey you, wallet. Yes, what do you want? He wants me, I can tell. Yes, but he wants every new toy that comes along. Go away. But I'm not new, I'm Gen 2. Let me introduce myself. My official name is HDAC24K. Oh, you'll be yesterday's news in no time, just like all the others. I don't know, I think I've got some staying power. I even support 2K and 4K video. Absolutely not. Your kind are ugly and never fit in. Oh. Ugly? Look at me. I am adorable. I've got a nice OLED display and check out my power supply jack. The plug screws in so it won't accidentally fall out. So you're just another pretty face with a party trick. Big deal. Just a pretty face? My THD is 0.00001% and my signal to noise ratio is 141 dBs. Well, yes, but that's not imp- I'm not done talking. I've also got a quarter inch front jack for a second volume control to analog output or headphones and the list goes on okay okay what's the damage just 5.99 oh my to stay updated please subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive notifications when i release new videos and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i'll see you soon